Welcome to the library. Let's go see a show. So throughout the show, we're going to be solving some of these mystery magic words that the mummy likes so very much. Hey, how you like that? You want to go do the first word? Yeah. The words are on the back here. Beth, I'll, I'll give you an easy one to start with. I don't know what order they're in, but let's see. I'll give you the shortest one first. Now, well, actually, I made these on my computer this morning, but I have a little bit of a problem with spelling. And did not use my spell check, so these words are slightly misspelled. I think I have all the letters, but they're just in the wrong order. So if I show you guys this word, do you think you can figure out what these letters, what order they should be in and what word it really is? Yeah. Oh, you look like a smart group. Okay, so let's unwrap this mystery message. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, who knows what that word is? It says get P, get P, get P. What does that mean? Oh, that's right. Say it again. She said Egypt. I think I was trying to spell Egypt. Sorry about that. So who knows the correct spelling? Well, I know how to spell it the right way now because I looked it up in my dictionary. So you guys want to spell it with me? Yeah. Okay, it goes how? E-G-Y-P-T. Egypt. Who knows where Egypt and what Egypt is? The land of the pyramids. It's a country in Northeast Africa between the Mediterranean Sea and the Red Sea. Average square about 400,000 square miles. Population of approximately 58 million people. I know that because I looked it up in the dictionary. You guys read? No. You don't? Who said that? <laughs> I might as well pack it and go home if y'all don't read. I mean, I guess that's why I'm here to inspire you to read. Learn more about Egypt and this magic mystery. That's the favorite thing of the mummy and your dictionaries and encyclopedias. All right. Is that all right? Yeah. I don't believe you're going to do that. You didn't sound like you're very convincing. Now, you know what? I don't like a quiet room. You guys have to make a, make a lot of noise, okay? So did I say okay? Yeah. All right, because if I don't think you're with me, I'm not going to go any further. I'll just do like this until I think you're ready. So who's ready for something else? Me. me. Okay, good, good, good. Oh, I did say this is going to be a magic show, right? And I also want to stress the importance of reading. Reading really does increase your brain power, right? I said, right? Yeah! Oh, you'll catch on. You know what? Let me tell you. I know this is a library, and you're supposed to be very quiet in the library. But when I come, that rolls out the window. That's why we're in the room. We're very private here. People know what's going on. They expect a lot of noise. And so do I. Can you get loud? Yeah! Okay, good. Great. Now, who knows what this is? A nose. That's a nose. A cloud nose like mine. A cloud nose. It's a cloud nose. That's one of those SpongeBob noses. But let's pretend this is your... Brain, your brain. I know, it's very small, very precise, what I think, too. What do you think books would do to your brain? That's a good idea. What did you, you say it again? Who said that? You expand your brain, you grow, you learn stuff. This is your brain. And imagine your brain on books. What would your brain look like on books? If that's your brain, then maybe reading books. Maybe that would be your brain on books. And I think that's worth clapping your hands about, don't you? Remember. Oh, yeah, that's your brain on books. How did you do that? I read a lot, and that's how I did it. <laughs> that's your brain on books. Now, magic, right? Okay. Well, another question. I ask a lot of questions. That's why I want you guys to talk aloud and answer me, all right? Who can tell me how many magic books there are in the library right now? How many magic books are there out there right now? A lot. A lot. Good. Oh, that's right. <laughs> More specifically, how many books do you think there are? How many magic books do you think are out there right now? Ten. Ten? Oh, good answer. One hundred. Twenty. Twenty. Huh? 
20, about 20? 1,000. 1,000? What do you think? 21? Uh, Good answers. Well, how many magic books are there in the library right now? Hmm, good question. 20. 20? A lot. A lot? <laughs> Average is about 20. Every, every answer is about 20 questions. That's close. But you know what I think? 10,000 I think that's closer. I think that every book is a magic book. And how do you think you make the magic happen? By reading. That's right. Say it again. By reading. By reading. Every book is a magic book. When you open up the book and you read it, then you let the magic out. Every book is a magic book. You make it happen by reading it. Everybody say, ooh. ooh. Think about it. Ooh, I got you too deep in thought now. Stop ooh. thinking so hard. Stop thinking so hard. Okay, now, would you like to see the first magic book I ever used? Yeah. I said, do you want to see the first magic book I ever had? All right, all right, okay. <laughs> okay, let me show you. <laughs> that not funny. Okay, uh, wait, here, here it is. You've probably seen this a hundred times because it's the oldest book in the world, and every clown in the world does it, right? I say, right? right. Yeah! You can say whatever, I don't know. Anyway, this is uh, the Clown Magic Coloring Book, and it's a very old trick. Most people know how it works. But like I said, every book is a magic book. And the way you make your books, the way you make the magic happen is to open the book and read it. In fact, when I had books at home just laying on the shelf that I never read, they may as well have been empty blank pages. So if you've got a book and you're not reading, it doesn't do you any good to have a book, right? right. Yeah. That's right, pick it up and read it. Now when I started thinking about that, and occasionally I'd pick it up, maybe once or twice a week I'd pick up a book and I'd actually read, then things started getting a little more clear to me. Things were getting a little more clear. I started seeing things and understanding things I didn't understand before. But then, when I made it a habit of reading every day at the same time, at least a little bit every day, you won't believe what happened then. All kinds of magical things started happening and really came clear to me then when I started reading regularly. Because like I said, every book is a magic book. And the magic happens when you the right people didn't say it. You people down here. I said the magic happens when you read. That's right. When you pick it up and read it, that's when the magic happens. You make the magic. Now. Oh, you know what? I brought a friend along with me. Would you like to meet him? Yeah. Y'all too quiet. Yeah. I said I brought a friend. You like to meet him? Huh? Yeah. yeah. All right. Let me get him. He's right over here. Yeah, Mr. Cameron, I know I'm giving you a... <laughs> oh, here he is. <laughs> oh, you know, I think it's time to do another magic message. How about another mystery message before we go on? Yeah. Somebody say, yeah, I'm going to do it anyway, but y'all should say, yeah. All right. Oh, here's the, here's the good one. Now, this may be a little more difficult. The word is short, but it's maybe a little more difficult because it's, it's an unusual word. It has a lot to do with Egypt and the mummy, though, so you might catch on to it. Shall I show it to you? Ta-da, what's that? No. no. Sphinx. Say it again. Sphinx. sphinx, that's right. Good. You guys know what a sphinx is? Yeah. Yeah, no, maybe. So I'll make up something. Okay. I'll make up. You don't know, I'll make it up. Huh. Okay. No, the Sphinx is a uh, it's a monument normally associated with Egypt and the the uh, pyramids and that, that area. It's uh it's like a statue with the head, sometimes the head of a man, a ram, or a hawk. It's an Egyptian artifact, type relic, relic symbol. I read that in the dictionary too. <laughs> okay, now we have, oh, we have to spell it correctly. Who knows how to spell it? S-P-I-N-S-A-S. Oh, pretty good, pretty good. Good try, good try. Here we all together. S-P-H. I N X. <laughs> I almost forgot myself. Thank you. S P H I N X. Sphinx. That's a really interesting word. I like that word. Like that word? Yeah. Huh? You're not rushing me, are you? <laughs> okay. Thank you for waiting. This is my friend, and his name is Rudy. I guess we'll bring him over here. Now I need everybody to say, hi, Rudy. Hi, Rudy. 
you guys talk to a wooden dummy? <laughs> I mean, he is my friend. He's not a real boy, but he represents, he represents a friend of mine named Rudy. And I brought him because he has a very special story to tell. I guess I have to tell it for him. A very special story to tell, but a really good message behind the story. You guys want to hear it? Don't yell so loud. <laughs> Rudy was a nice boy, just like all of you, but he did not like to read. Now, he knew how to read. He was a good reader, but he didn't like to do it. He liked to spend his time doing other things. What kind of other things do you think Rudy would prefer to do than read? Play. 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 Watch TV. Watch TV and play his games on his TV. He was really, really hooked on the TV. This is the old-fashioned TV with the knob. You guys are probably on Maybe it's a... He was hooked on TV every day after school. Rudy would come home, throw his books down, jump in his great big chair, and guess what he'd do? Watch TV. Watch TV. And his head would go right off and inside the television set all afternoon. And as a result of that, that means... Do you know what happened? Well... If you're not watching the right thing, TV does not make you very smart. In fact, sometimes what happens is that you forget some of the things that you already knew because you're not using your head, your brain. So your brain almost, almost shrinks. I mean, it doesn't physically shrink, but you forget some of the stuff you know, so it's like your mind is closing in on you. Yeah, I've had the TV. So Rudy didn't notice it because it's just a little bit of a difference. He didn't really notice it. Well... Actually, he was walking down the hallway in his house one time, and he caught a glimpse of himself in the mirror. He goes, hey, is that me? And he goes, hey, you know what? I think my muscles are getting bigger. I think I'm looking pretty good, pretty buff there. He didn't notice that his head was getting smaller. He thought his muscles and his body was getting bigger. But, so he just kept on doing what? Watching TV. More and more TV. And oh, boy, same old thing, same old stuff, day after day, in the house after school, and then what? Nothing but TV. Ooh, and it was not a good result. I mean, it wasn't very good what happened to Rudy. Guess what happened then? You probably guessed it. <laughs> he was getting worse and worse. But the worst part about it is that now it was summertime. He was out of school. And he could watch TV all day long and never read. All day. But you guys are smarter than that, right? Oh, that's, that's why you're here, huh? But not Rudy. He had not learned the lesson yet. More and more every day, all day now. From morning to night, he would? Watch TV. That's right. His head went right in that TV every day. So, finally, one day his mother came home from work, and she looked in his bedroom to see what he, if he was watching TV or reading the book. What do you think he was doing? Watching TV, right? Watch yeah, you're right. TV. He got so bad and so hooked on TV that one day his mom looked in his room and on his pillow, all she saw was TV. Oh, no, that's right. Rudy had watched so much TV that his brain had totally shrank and almost disappeared. But his mother saw that and she goes, Oh, no, my poor baby, his brain has shrank and almost disappeared. But she goes, Oh. But, oh, well, he's still my boy, and I still love him because your mama's love you no matter what, don't they? So she picked him up, and she brushed him off because he fell on the floor. And she brushed him off, and she said, well, I guess I'll just have to make the best of what I have left of my little boy because uh, I love him, right? So you know what she did with it? Any idea what she did with it? No. That's right. She took it, and she... She blew it up just like that. And she decided that, oh, well, my baby's still my baby. She goes, but he listed a plane there. I don't know which side to talk to. So she decided to do this. She took her, <laughs> she took her magic marker. She can find a magic marker. And she decided that it might be a good idea if he could see her every day. So she gave him eyes. eyes. That's right, eyes to see her with. Now, how many eyes do you think she gave him? That's right. You guys, are, she gave him two eyes. There. That's her baby's face. Then she goes, well, hmm, 